Hi guys, I'm back with another video and today we have Claudine Wolf from the original Ghouls collection. And I've already reviewed Draculaura and Frankenstein, so if you haven't seen those videos, make sure you check them out. So this is Claudine Wolf in her box. And from the looks of it, she looks like they did a pretty good job. I think I'm satisfied with the way this one looks. Um, this is the side of her box, and you can see her artwork, and it says Claudine Wolf. The front of her box says Claudine Wolf, and it has her little paw print. And there's her cartoon artwork there, looking pretty as ever. And on the back, it has a nice big picture of her. I must say I am loving the artwork on the back of the new boxes. And on the bottom, it says Claudine Wolf, Daughter of the Werewolf, Monster High logo, and it says the original Ghoul Collection. So, I am going to take Claudine out of her box and I'll be right back. Okay guys, I'm back and I got Claudine out of her box and I must say she look at, she is looking oh so fabulous. So, just by looking at her there are like some things that are different from like the original and the second re-release. There's not as much detail put into these outfits. They're more of a simple look but it's still good regardless. I like it. And I don't have the original Claudine, so I'm, I'm pretty happy with this one. So let's take a look at her face. So this is Claudine's face, and she has her fangs. And she has some pretty purple eye makeup on. And in her ears, she has her earrings, two on each ear. Her hair, her hair is very soft. It's not heavily gelled down. So it'd be very easy to brush. She has on a little necklace and she also has on a choker. I'm not sure if you guys can see that, but she does have on a choker. She has on a furry um, jacket and she has on, I would call this maybe zebra print, like a zebra print pink and black bodysuit and gold and purple stitching. I think on the original, it's actual like material that they used to do this, but on this doll, they made it more simple and they just did gold and purple stitching. She has on a black belt with gold studs and she has on a pretty little purple skirt with a little bit of tulle on the outside edge of it. I think maybe on the original, there might be like more tulle to make the skirt a little bit more fluffy, but that's okay, I still like it. And her purple and gold boots. And they also made the boots a little bit more simpler. The original ones, the boots had a little bit more detail. But that's fine overall. Like I think this is a really nice release that they did for Claudine Wolf. Draculaura now, not so much. But Frankie and Claudine Wolf so far, I like these dolls. These are good to add to your collection. Whoopsies, I just moved the camera. Especially if you don't have these ones already. Oh, and one thing. I think on the other ones, she's wearing um, leggings or tights. And this one, she doesn't have that. So, yeah, this is Claudine Wolf. And overall, I'm very happy. Oh, yeah. And let me not forget that her stand and her brush come inside a compartment in the box. So all the dolls when you buy them separately, have their stands and their brushes inside. They have a six pack that has all the ghouls, and I don't think those ones come with stands, which is kind of a bummer, but if you buy them separately like this, they do come with stands. So the only one that I need now is Cleo Denial, so I'll just have to keep a lookout for that one, and I'll make sure I'll do a review if I get that one. But yeah, this is Claudine Wolf. Overall, I like everything about this doll. Comment below and let me know what your favorite part of Claudine was. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!